As we walk down the Christian road, I've learned that most things in life are uncertain. What will happen later in life, next year, or even what this day holds for us is very uncertain. No one knows the circumstances of the future in this life. So if this life is all there is, there can be much anxiety about what will happen next. This phenomenon seems to be growing like a wave sweeping over our world today. But as Christians, we can know our future. We have a glorious hope that extends into eternity. In God's word, he gives us previews of an earth filled with his righteousness when all evil is removed and his glory and his justice is revealed tangibly for all to see. As we read Isaiah chapter two, the first five verses give us this preview. In the last days, the mountain of the Lord's house will be the highest of all, the most important place on earth. It will be raised above other hills and people from all over the world will stream there to worship. What a worship service that will be. Then in verses six through 22, the chapter describes the day of the Lord and Isaiah prophesies about the climate of the human heart in that day. He describes a people filled with idolatry, pride, and arrogance. In verse 17, we see that in that day, human pride will be humbled and human arrogance will be brought down. Only the Lord will be exalted on that day of judgment. Friends, we live in a time with much uncertainty. With all that's going on in Israel and the Middle East, political uncertainty globally and within our own country, the time to stand firm and be bold in our faith is now, like never before. The prophecies written in Isaiah allow us to look through a window into what will be in the future, and we can trust the truth in God's word. Everything that God has said will come to pass has come to pass, and we can know that what he tells us about the future will also come to fruition. Be reminded today in the hope that lies ahead of us. We have a home in heaven. Let us stand together firm in our faith as we wait upon the Lord. And just as it will be in the last day, let's allow his justice and his righteousness to rule and reign in our hearts today.